Hello, uh, trading is closed on July 16th, 2021. We always begin things with our disclaimer, so let's not forget that. This is my trading plan for Monday, July 19th, 2021. Just remember, I can be completely wrong, and all trade should be at your own risk. Let's review our calls. Look for the pattern with the early low, which is this. Monday's pattern should also be the early low. We had a target, optional, but we said it printed 95% of the time, 43.6703. I thought it might not print, but here it is, and it did print. Resistance over the target. We uh, said the commonest thing would be a gap and a prompt move outside the day's range. This is it. I thought the gap would be down, but it was up. My system doesn't really predict which direction. But it does say when there's early weakness in the pattern we had Thursday, that more weakness should ensue. And normally you don't have to wait too long. And we got that. During the day, MJT said this drop is false. Gives us a target of 43.5318. Most likely to print Monday, and unless we gap down smartly, that's my call. Now, there is a pattern, which I mentioned in my book, but kind of glossed over. I didn't, I didn't realize at the time I wrote it how good it was, but it was the first pattern I mentioned in my webinar. And that triggered today, and it says there's a 95% chance we're going to see this price, 43.5318 on Monday. It might look kind of it might look kind of incongruous to talk about higher prices when you drop like this. Uh, this was an un unrelenting drop on a Friday. Almost always these things carry through into Monday, but if they don't, if they don't, if we get up smartly instead, it's a very bullish pattern. In fact, if you look at the last picture in the first chapter of my book, you'll see a pattern just like this. I can't really call it a wall because of these pullbacks, but I think it's the same principle. It's unrelenting selling with a higher target. So MJT said it's not the real thing. And what I really like is it happens at a time when liquidity dries up so it's not the professionals who are selling. It's actually the professionals who are forced to buy. Now, I'd be happiest. This close is wrong. What's the close? 43.27.16. Going to drive people nuts if I don't change that. Okay. I'd be happiest. If we actually traded lower in the overnight session that begins Sunday night, because that's still the amateur is playing. And what I really like is for us to trade significantly lower on Sunday and then recover all of it and gap up Monday's open. That would trap all those people and could lead to a rally that could last all week. This is the pattern I've been hoping will hold. Here's your all-time high. So far, this is just a blip. And unless we undercut some of these lows, it hasn't really accomplished much. So let's look at this move from the all-time high. What I want to see is an impulsive move like blue A. That's what I want. Instead, we get a overlapping three-wave pattern with A, B, C, great fibs, A, B, C with C equal to A right at the low. Doesn't mean it's the only count, but it's a clear count, and it's, it suggests we've made an A, B, C from the all-time high, which has ended. If that's the right count, and of course we don't know that yet, but if it's the right count, we'll move up smartly on Monday.
Monday's pattern has yearly low, doesn't mean you won't gap up. Signals are mixed again, here are the rules. It's negative, we dropped all day going into the weekend. Almost always the drop continues Monday morning. But if we gap up instead, if that happens, it's bullish instead. What's bullish is we have a higher MJT target. Unless we gap down smartly, it should print. The put call ratio and the equity only put call ratio are way over their upper Bollinger Bands. Too much buying of puts. NASDAQ McClellan Oscillator is way under, it traded under its lower Bollinger Band. It's a sign of a low once it reverses. So all these things are sentiment indicators indicating an extreme. If we reverse, that hasn't happened yet, but if we do, it gives a buy signal and frankly a pretty good one if that counts right. Rather than having an impulsive move down from the all-time high, which would be optimal if the high of the leg were in, we appear to be dropping in a three-wave pattern, which may well have completed. That doesn't mean that all-time high isn't going to hold, but it makes it suspicious that it might not. Tried to call tops a number of times here and been wrong. So, we have a pattern right from the first chapter of my book. It's a unrelenting drop into the close. MJT says it isn't the real thing. Gives a much higher target with a 95% chance of printing. This is a perfect setup, but not a guarantee of gapping up smartly Monday morning. And I'd like it even more if we trade lower overnight Sunday and then gap up Monday morning and then print this. The whole thing could fall apart, of course, because if we gap down, then the call is just wrong. But if we don't gap down smartly, I'm looking for 43.53.18 to print, and this is entirely possible that this ABC has ended at today's low. We'll have to wait for Monday's open to be certain, and that is today's call.